Welcome back. Once more, Cruz's return for subsequent missions is difficult to imagine. She has experienced the entire scope of special operations and the effects of a brutal conflict that never ends. Yes, there might be additional missions, fresh recruits, and ethically dubious successes where nobody wins. We can infer from Sheridan's works that he doesn't seem to merely keep going for the sake of going. For the majority of these characters, this is most likely the last chapter. It's probable that Special Ops will make an entirely new appearance. Fans may remember that Lioness was given the Special Ops prefix just before its premiere. Quite similar to American Crime Story, Cruz lost control and erupted into a fit of wrath, blaming Joe for converting her into a murderous automaton and forcing her to cause harm to a person she adored with all her heart. Even though she desperately wanted to, she realized that she wouldn't ever get back to Aaliyah, and she also realized how devastated she would have been to discover that her time with Cruz had been a lie. Cruz, on the other hand, had no idea what she was engaging in or why she was willing to put herself through such a terrible ordeal. The cherry on top was that Cruz had fallen into a relationship with Aaliyah and was unsure of how she would kill her father when the moment came. Cruz had repeatedly heard from Joe that Aaliyah was exploiting her while claiming she only wanted to have fun and make the most of her independence before getting married. However, deep down, Cruz recognized this to be untrue. Cruz utterly believed in Aaliyah. Cruz didn't know how to remove her feelings from the situation now that they were deeply in love with one another. Cruz had a definite gut feeling, and despite what Joe tried to convince her of, she wasn't going to accept that feeling as accurate. Aeson didn't believe Cruz when he claimed that Aaliyah was afraid since the wedding was going to cause everything in her personal life to change. He was aware that both women were concealing information from him and were up to something. Cruz was informed by Aaliyah that Aeson suspected they had been having a love affair, and that her life would drastically change if she married him. Aaliyah was anxious about her upcoming marriage, but she realized that she was powerless and that she couldn't change anything, no matter how badly she wanted to. Cruz urged her repeatedly to rebel and stand up for her own rights, but Aaliyah was fully conscious of the kind of men her dad and fiancé were and knew it was not possible. She informed Cruz that she disagreed with the Western nation's classification of her father as a terrorist, but it was evident that she was too ignorant and isolated to grasp what went on behind the scenes and the type of intricate and shady politics those countries engaged in. We would see the effects of what transpired in Mallorca if there were a special ops, Lioness Season 2, and the CIA had undoubtedly set off a domino effect that would cause them a lot of issues in the future. Aaliyah's actions following her father's death. Does the Lioness program still exist? We must be aware. The well-liked drama may only have an 8-episode limited run before making a comeback as an anthology. We might be considering a Season 2 that still goes by the special ops moniker, but tells a whole different tale. Once Paramount approves Special Ops, we'll know for sure. It shouldn't take too long given the track record of the creator Taylor Sheridan. See you eventually on another engrossing review. I hope the video is enjoyable. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.